Fire in the hole, let's cook a steak sandwich. Stay tuned. Hello and welcome once again to my backyard barbecue. What I got going on for you today is I've got three of the nicest ribeye steaks I've ever seen. They've got some beautiful marbling, beautiful spinalis on those two. I'll tell you what, I've lucked out with steaks lately. And what I thought I would do is, well, we were in the meat market, my wife found this. This is Lane's Bethlehem, Georgia, Cubano Rub and Seasoning. When I read the ingredients on this, she said, well, you want to buy this? And I said, yeah, I want to buy it. I said, I'm going to put that on some steaks. First, of course, I'm going to put some Sang stir fry oil on there like I always do. You know all about Sang stir fry oil. You know about the garlic flavor of Sang's, the beautiful, wonderful, delicious flavor of Sang stir fry oil. Let's make them a mouthwater. Anyway, yeah, we're going to get that on there and get some of this rub on there, this Cubano rub. And I'm going to take one of these uh, steaks. I'm going to rub it liberally with Cubano rub. Sorry about that. Rub these steaks down both sides, of course, on the edges. We're going to get them on the grill. I'm going to get my thermometer in one of them, and we're going to reverse sear them. And I'm going to take one and make a beautiful Cuban-style steak sandwich, what they call pan con bistec. Uh, well, similar to a pan con bistec, they don't use ribeye. They normally use palomino steak. But we're going to use a ribeye. We're going to make a pan con bistec. Let me get this on the grill, get it cooking, and I'll bring you right back. Stay tuned. Okay, the steaks are on the fire on indirect heat. I've got my cast iron pan over here with some onions in it that we're going to saute up for the sandwich that we're going to make. We're going to hit them with some uh, SPG, salt, pepper, and garlic. And we're going to hit them with some Sang stir fry oil too, just to make them fry. I'm going to put that one back in the pan, not letting him get away. And some Sangs on the onions. And uh, while the grill comes up to temperature, and while the steaks are cooking, I'll saute these onions to put on my pan con bistec. I got my thermometer inserted in the biggest one. I'm going to get them up to 120 degrees. Then we're going to do a, a sear on them. We're going to put a sear on this. This is a reverse sear method of cooking. I'm going to get our onions uh, grilled up a little bit, you know. You know what I'm talking about. There's nothing better than onions, except if you're, unless you're my cousin Lenny or my son Charles. They don't like onions, but I do. We're going to get our steaks cooked up. We're going to slice one up, make a steak sandwich. You're going to love it. Stay tuned. Okay, the steaks are at 120. We're going to give them a quick sear on each side. Just about two minutes on a side. Get the thermometer out of that one. Just to give them a sear, I don't care about grill marks, I don't care about anything else. Just want to get a little crust on them. And then I'm going to slice one up and make a Cubano steak sandwich. So stay tuned. Okay, let's put together this steak sandwich. We got some good old Duke's mayonnaise. We're going to put that, slather that on the bottom of the bread. Some good old Duke's mayo. Put a good, uh, good bit of that down on the bottom of the bread. Yes, sir. Nothing like Duke's mayo. We're going to put some on the top, too, I think. Yeah, some on the top of the bread, too. Get some nice Cuban bread here. I should have uh, cleaned my spoon off, but I'll use it to spread that, uh, that stuff I got over there. Let's get this out of the way. Okay. Let's go down with some uh, onion, I think. Let me get some onion over here. Let me get my glove. My onion pan is still hot. Where's my other glove? No one knows. All right, let me just, I'll just tough it out. Here we go. All right, grilled onion. Where's my tongs? Okay, never mind. Here they are. They're underneath everything. All right. First thing, grilled onions. My favorite condiment. Grilled onions down on there, like that, oh boy, if you could only smell that, you would know what I'm talking about, let me get that out of the way, that pan out of there, okay, next we've got some uh, 
let's put the meat down next. The meat got a little, a little more cooked than I like it, but it's still pretty good for a steak sandwich. So let's put some ribeye down on top of those onions, like that. Slices of ribeye steak, can't beat it, can you? I don't think so. Get them on there. A little bit more. Let's cover up the spots where you missed. Oh yeah, ribeye steak, nothing better. Okay, next thing we need, I think some cheese to put on there. I was supposed to get uh, Swiss cheese and I zoned out and got Munster, but it's okay. It's gonna be all right. Let me get this package open somehow. Get my cheese out here. Put a few slices of cheese on there. Like I said, traditionally, the uh, pan con bistec doesn't get cheese on it, but I like cheese. So I'm gonna put some cheese on my, on my steak. Slice of Munster there, slice of Munster there. Get that paper off of there. Make sure it's off of there. One more slice, I think. One more slice of cheese. Why not? What's it gonna hurt? Cheese is good for you, right? If I could just get it out of the package. Oh, man. Okay. All right, cheese. What's next? Now we got some lettuce, of course. Oh no, I forgot the sauce. Let me put the sauce down there. While I was at the meat market, I got this black pepper sauce. I can't wait to uh, try this. I tasted it. It tastes excellent. I'm just gonna drop some of that on there. That's also not traditional with a uh, pan con bistec, but the uh, black pepper sauce just looks so good to me. I'm gonna spread that out on there. Oh man, it tastes excellent, I tasted it. Black pepper sauce. My mouth is watering. Now we've got some lettuce, Put some romaine lettuce down. A little bit more of that, I think. Romaine lettuce and some tomato. Fresh tomato. Slices. Nice slices of tomato. I don't know if I can crowd one more on there or not. I'm gonna try, okay. Tomato. We put the top on that. Yes, sir. Now we're talking. That looks like something. Now let me cut that. Let me cut that in a piece that I can handle. Like that, oh, you know what, I forgot the most important thing. The most important thing, the potato sticks. Potato sticks on every Cuban sandwich gets these potato sticks. So there you go, potato sticks. Let's put the top back on it. Now that you messed up and started cutting it. Okay, no harm done. I got it done. Let me get that cut on an angle like that. We'll pull that aside a little bit so you can see it, how beautiful it is. We're going to uh, get a beer and take a taste of that, so stay tuned. Okay, my Cubano sandwich is done. There's the frosty root boy mug, not too frosty. And here's today's beer, Johnny Cuba. Johnny Cuba Premium German Lager. This is so weird. Johnny Cuba made this German lager. And it says that it's uh, a cross between a Caribbean beer and a German lager. I can't wait to taste that. I think it's going to be like a Corona, only with like German overtones. Let's find out. Let's tilt that glass and pour that beer. Oh yeah. I think that's what it is. It's like a Caribbean beer, which would be like a Corona, which would be a Mexican beer, and a kind of a, it's a lager. So it's a lager, but it's also a Caribbean style beer. Doesn't that look good? Let's take a sniff of that, Rob. Now ah, the, the foam went away quick. Let's quaff the froth off it, Rob. I'm dry. Five percent alcohol. It's delicious. Excellent, excellent beer. Johnny Cuba. Let me uh, turn the camera around and I'll try to get some of this uh, Steak sandwich in my mouth. Stay tuned. 
Okay, my Cuban sandwich is done. How does it look? My pan con bistec. Can you see that? Is that beautiful or what? I'm gonna try and grab it and put a piece of it in my mouth if I can. Somehow. Doesn't that look good? Here we go. Mmm. Wow. I've had pan con bistecs before. None of them were as good as that one. Let me tell you what. That black pepper sauce is delicious. Everything, everything about this sandwich is just outstanding. The ribeye, I can't wait to get another bite of that if I can. I love the uh, Cuban, uh, I'll just take a piece of meat. Very good. Very tender ribeye. Perfectly cooked. Delicious. You know what I always say, babies? If you like this crap, please subscribe. If you don't, go up in the iCard and check out my boy Patty Joe. Patrick, he's down in Australia. He's cooking up some amazing stuff. You'll dig what he's doing. Subscribe to me. If you don't like me, go see Patty Joe. Subscribe to him, Patty Joe Cooking. Come back next week. We may not cook anything good, but this pan palm bistec is excellent. But we will drink a beer. Johnny Cuba. I'm so surprised. I bought a six pack of this. I can't wait to drink the rest of them. It, it's delicious. Really, really good. All right, babies. That's my video. Bye. Mm -hmm.